Hi, this is Diane from Treasures from Jones Health and Wellness with seven tips to lower high blood pressure naturally without medicine. Many mature adults have high blood pressure and are on high blood pressure medication, which has been prescribed by their doctor. So this video is about how you and your doctor can work together to reduce your high blood pressure enough to not need the chemical medications. There is so much research on this topic, so I thought it would be helpful to do a short review. Number one, studies suggest that losing weight, especially around the waistline, is a particularly good area to start. Having too much weight around your waistline can put you at a greater risk of high blood pressure. To prevent and control high blood pressure, men should try to reduce their waistline to 40 inches or less, and the goal for women should be about 35 inches or less. The Mayo Clinic reports that blood pressure increases as weight increases. Being overweight can also cause breathing problems during sleep, also known as sleep apnea, which further raises your blood pressure. The process of losing weight requires effective lifestyle changes. A 10 to 15 pound reduction in your weight can help reduce your blood pressure significantly. Research also suggests that exercise at a rate of 30 minutes per day for 3 to 5 days per week can have an enormous impact and can lower your blood pressure significantly. The best exercise options include walking, of course, low impact jogging, easy cycling, heart healthy swimming, fun dancing, and resistance strength training. If you have a gym membership, you can work out on the treadmill or stationary bikes and the resistance training equipment. If working out at home, you can take a few walks around the neighborhood, work out with light dumbbells, as well as do some floor exercises. Number three, follow a healthy whole food diet. Being a smart shopper, which involves reading labels, even when eating out, is the best way to stick to a healthy eating plan is a huge benefit which will lower your blood pressure levels. Try your best to limit the processed foods in your diet. Whole foods are the best choice generally since they contain only naturally occurring sodium. Most sodium is added during food processing. Food labels will show just how much added sodium and added sugar are in the processed food items, which leads to an increased disease risk, as well as weight gain and high blood pressure. More research revealed that herbal teas like green tea, red hibiscus tea, which contains phytochemicals, can help reduce the systolic blood pressure reading. These teas also help relax and widen the blood vessels, ultimately reducing your blood pressure. Quitting smoking is the best lifestyle change persons of any age can make to lower their blood pressure and improve overall health. Smoking raises blood pressure and increases blood clots, which increases the risk of having a stroke. Just one day after quitting smoking, blood pressure readings begin to drop, immediately decreasing the risk of heart disease from smoking-induced high blood pressure. Number five, to reduce hypertension, you must reduce your stress levels. If episodes of anxiety occur frequently, they may damage blood vessels and kidneys over time, increasing the risk of developing high blood pressure. A vitamin D receptor exists on every cell in the body, so we want to work on taking and absorbing vitamin D. The sun's rays is the first and foremost source of vitamin Z. Exposing arms and legs to the sun for 45 minutes between the hours of 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. will help you meet your daily requirements for most skin types. The common vitamin D food sources are wild caught salmon, which is a fatty fish, raw canned or smoked herring, smoked or canned sardines, halibut and mackerel, which are oily fishes as well, and of course, egg yolks. Vitamin D deficiencies are linked to type 1 diabetes, multiple sclerosis, thyroid problems, as well as high blood pressure. 
adults should get 600 to 2,000 international units of vitamin D daily, but some experts also say that overweight people may need higher amounts. Number seven, alcohol plays an important role in blood pressure management. The moderate limits of alcohol are no more than one drink a day for women or men older than age 65, and no more than two drinks a day for men age 65 and younger. One drink of beer equals 12 ounces. One drink of wine equals five ounces. One drink of 80 proof liquor equals 1.5 ounces. Drinking more than the moderate amounts of alcohol can raise blood pressure levels by several points. It can also reduce the effectiveness of blood pressure medications. The research on caffeine is that it is also bad for blood pressure levels. Caffeine can cause a short or dramatic increase in your blood pressure even if you don't have high blood pressure. The cause of the spike is not known as per the researchers, but the thought is that caffeine blocks a hormone that helps keep your arteries wide. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the Treasures from Jones Health and Wellness Family. We post two to three videos per week, so kindly hit that notification button so you'll know when future videos are posted. And please select another video now to watch. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.